Yes, we are back. Back again in OMSI 2, back again to do another route, and this time back again in Vodenham. Uh, we're going to tackle Route 115, based in 2015, but I seem to be in a bus that's a lot older. Yeah, I might have mucked up a bit there. I'm in the 0305. This is going to go well. Grab that guidebook to Bodenham, and let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome back to OMSI 2. If you're new to my content, or even if you're not, then welcome indeed. Uh, OMSI going out on the channel every single Monday, as it has done for the last six years, over six years now. It's I need to stop, really. I just, I need to. Uh, other content for me is something from Train Sim Classic uh, on a Wednesday, uh, something from Train Sim World uh, on a Saturday. Uh, one of the other streams, or another video that I do, goes out on a Friday. I've got something new to look at that goes out on what I call Random Sunday. Uh, so plenty of content from me. There'll be links in the doobly-doo below uh, to where you can get Bodenham for OMSI, uh, to where you can watch me live on the Twitchy thing, because I do that six days of the week, uh, and to my Discord server as well. Uh, so let's jump on board. Uh, we are currently uh, about a minute away from our departure. I'm driving for the bus company. So this is going to go well, or or it's or it's not going to go well. It's going to be one of those. Ooh, good morning, mate. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Managed to work out. I have opened a door, so that's a plus. Uh, we're currently a bit early, though, aren't we? Is it both of those? Yeah, it is. Okay. Currently running a bit early. So yes, added the uh, the new version of Bodenham to our bus company. Uh, I forgot that uh, when I decided to use this bus. So all the other buses we'll see, hopefully, will be something uh, relatively modern. Um, but I'm you know, a bit of a retro uh, bus route, you know, because that's probably a thing. Let's close the doors. And make our way. Hopefully without crashing. Okay, left turn. Yeah, so more modern bus coming towards me. It's fine, it's, you know, we're doing a bit of a uh, a retro journey. Uh, that, uh, okay. That, um, it, it, uh, okay. There's, there's something wrong with it, with that truck, but you know, we'll, we'll persevere. We'll carry on. Uh, left into Claremont Road. open both the doors this time. No? Okay, don't talk to me then. So if you have got OMSI 2 and you have got the bus company simulator and you're looking to join a company, we're always looking for new drivers to join ours. Um, is all we ask is that you do one drive a week. That's it. Uh, okay, no one getting on or off there at the stop that doesn't quite exist. Oh, it's here, that's why. There's still no one getting on and off there. So, left turn into Wessex Street. I really do like Bodenham as a map. It is very good. <coughs> okay, anyone getting off or on here? No, we're all good here. So I'm going to be careful because I, I don't know how early or late I am. I could look at the timetable. So I'm not going to speed in a hope that uh, 
we're okay by the time we get there. Did I miss a train going past? I think I've ever seen those barriers down. That's a thing. Um, you're not getting on then? Okay, fine. So yeah, pick the uh, pick the map, pick the route, and then uh, walked into our bus garage and thought, oh, I've driven the 0305 for a while, and then realised that. Okay, yeah, you just crossed the road in front of me. Uh, then realised that uh, this route was set in 2015. getting on you're getting on okay so four people on board of our maximum of 49 on the uh, 0305 I wonder what people would think if they're expecting their nice new modern bus and this thing turns up is green. More passengers here. Didn't need to open both doors, did I? That's a pink bus. Yeah, I'm going to guesstimate my times. Okay, no one getting on or off here. So if I drive at a reasonable speed, then in theory I should stay on time. So I could look at the timetable over there in the corner. But that would be too easy. It's not like me driving for the bus company is important or anything. Which it is, by the way being late or cancelling routes or being early does affect our rating so I don't really want to be doing that that's a light that's just changing that's fine so if someone wants to get off the back as soon as I put a station brake on those doors will open automatically and they'll close now and I just control the front ones and then turn the station brake off again. Right, out into the countryside. I don't want to be speeding too much, say, because of the timetable. I just feel as though I'm sat quite high up in this. That's better. I really do like the older buses in OMSI. There is a certain something about them. try and keep that 50 kilometers an hour I think I should be okay I said I won't know until I finish the journey and I get my rating yeah I think OMSI is certainly up there my top three maps of all time for Bombs is certainly up there. No, Bodenham's certainly up there. My top three maps of all time. I think Rheinhausen's still number one for me. Quite like Berlin X10. Yeah, and I, I do like this. There's such a variety of routes. 
Although I'm liking things like Scunthorpe and West Country. They're really nice. So some UK stuff. I will stop here at Whist. Oh, that's funny. I did really. People are getting on. I just hope I'm not incredibly early or late. Anything under three minutes should be fine. It's only a 20 minute journey, or should it be a 20 minute journey? these journeys where you do a bit of town stuff and then you go out in the country for a little bit. As I said, there's uh, quite a few of those in Bodenham. And that's what makes it such a really good map. getting on no nobody getting off that's the only problem is if we're not stopping then uh, it could affect our time Someone waiting at this bus stop. Uh, they're going to walk towards it. Oh, we're going to get a passenger. I'll stop anyway. Doesn't look like they're getting on. They're going to walk towards the door. Nope, she's going to stand there. Okay. quite nice just being out in the countryside in this really like doing longer routes because you just get into the the mindset of uh, of doing a route you're know, looking for the next stop um, and on some of the shorter ones it's like oh it's over already Quite stop. Okay, left here. Stop, still nobody getting off. Oh, yeah, someone getting on. Mm. 
and not talking to me. So seven people on board. Definitely quite nice driving an older bus in this. So I normally grab the uh, more modern stuff when I'm doing the streams. Certainly did with the last one. Pretty much stayed in the same sort of bus for the whole stream. It's quite nice just jumping in in one of these. interested now to see how early or late we're going to be. Okay, nobody getting on or off here. Up towards Moncton Village. And not talking to me. Okay, no, that's fine. There's no obligation for them to talk to me. That's not something they have to do. Which is quite nice. Bit of, you know, good morning. Actually, yeah, we better do that. That's a hill. which this thing isn't liking. Right, well, you have a tight corner to get around there. You wouldn't want to go around there if something coming the other way. That would definitely be a no-no. People are going to walk towards the stop. Yes, they are. How many people have got off yet? A few have got on. Hello, mate. Good morning. See? How hard was that? Based on the fact that this should have been a 20-minute route that started at 10.45, we've only got three stops to go and three minutes. So I think I'm running a bit early. So I'm just going to slow down a little tiny bit and hope that this red light is uh, going to hold me here for a while.
red light that car has to now lean around to see. See, I just saw the end stop on the map. It's mainly, I think, because we haven't stopped at that many stops that it's put us early. Which normally would have been a problem, but because, say, because I'm driving for the bus company, I can't really afford to be that early because it will affect our ratings. And we don't want that, do we? This is where now sitting there ends up making me late, you watch. Okay, Dromford Corner. Okay, we're getting off here. Oh, someone's actually getting on. getting on? No, not getting on. Okay. Two stops to go. Okay, Leyland Street. Someone getting off here. Okay, if we go, I'm round to the final stop. Wow, okay, that bus has just got that corner. At least I've been trying not to do that. So what do we do? Oh, look at that. 11 seconds early. That's not bad. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. That was actually really lucky. Uh, right, let's terminate the tour then. See how we actually did. So 12 bus stops, 12 on time. Punctuality was 100%. Crashes was none because who drives in OMSI with collisions on? Covered distance was 9.3 kilometers. Passenger satisfaction, didn't hear him complain. It was a relatively smooth journey, 100%, which gives me a total of excellent, 100%. We like that. So it's like I'm not going to get sacked from the bus company this week. Hurrah. And there we go, back in the bus company. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so don't forget to check out the links in the description. We're going. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description below uh, to where you can get OMSI. No, for where you can get Bodenham for OMSI. Uh, to where you can watch me live on the Twitchy thing, doing all kinds of stuff, including some OMSI occasionally. Uh, and to where you can join the Discord server. Uh, but we will end there, uh, not seeing the front of my head. Uh, until the next time, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.